Hey guys, what's up? Bob Bone here, and I'm here with another Minecraft mod tutorial. Sorry I've been gone so long, I kind of forgot about this whole series I started, and also about I've been starting with other mods and stuff, but today I'm going to teach you how to add a custom texture to your block. Alright, I got, so basically I wiped out all my code on accident, so I had to restart. So if my code looks different to yours, no big deal, you can change it, pause the video, whatever. Alright, but I got two blocks here, T, I mean, block and an item, T item and T block. So, under your public void load constructor, you're going to go T item, or whatever your item is, dot, icon index, space equals space, mod loader, dot, add override, and then I'll explain the rest later. For your block, you're going to do T block or whatever, dot, block, index, and texture, space equals space, mod loader, dot, add override. So basically what these means is, so first for your T item or whatever your item is, they're going to be referenced different places if it's a block. For your item, it's going to reference the icon index of the block. So basically, usually when you make a, make a block, it gets the icon or the texture from the terrain.pn, from the GUI slash items PNG. But now we're going to use an add override. Um... I don't know what it's called, command, I guess. Instance, uh, instance or so from mod loader to overwrite it. So then you're gonna open up brackets and write quotes slash GUI slash items.png. So this is the original file. And then you're go, gonna go comma and basically whatever, wherever you're gonna save it. For me, I'm saving it in slash tutorial slash T item.png. All right. Well, I hope you guys understood that. Sorry, I'm talking kind of fast. Got to go like in three minutes. And for the block, it's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be your block name, dot block, index, and texture. That means the block texture is just difference referencing, different referencing, just what you did. And then for the open, open parentheses quotes, it's going to just be terrain PNG instead. And then your place, which is slash tutorial slash T block. All right, sorry if you don't understand it. It's actually really, really forward. What was the word? Uh, really front, forward, whatever. Up front, I guess. I forgot. But like, it's just really simple. All right, well, I got two textures here, T block and T item. Now, I'm going to be doing this because I know a lot of people, or at least me as myself when I first created a mod, I was like, where do I put this texture? All right, well, if you're using Eclipse, which you better be because it's awesome, you're going to go into your folder, mine's tutorials, all right? Then you're going to go to your Eclipse folder, client or server if you're making a server mod, but you're usually going to go client, bin, and then you're going to create a new folder in there. Or you're going to, sorry, that's where my other mod. So I'm going to call my tutorials because that's where what I wrote in my code right here tutorial oh, tutorial and make sure the case and everything is exactly the same otherwise it will not work if like you have a lowercase t or whatever it won't work so drag your two pngs in there and make sure that they have the dot png extension if they are not dot png minecraft will not recognize it okay well yeah and these are going to, oops, but these are going to be 16 by 16 pixels. If you don't know how to do that, I will come out with the video soon using Adobe Photoshop and this other one I have. So, yep, that's all you got to do. Now, when you load up Minecraft from Eclipse, which we are doing right now, if you read down here, it should say, yep, right there. Overriding textures right here. All right. Well, that's how you know it worked. And then hopefully you get no errors. Nope. Just do tutorials. Tutorials. And I changed the recipes, or maybe not. I don't remember what the recipes were. But I made my T block one dirt and my T item two dirt. In the next tutorial, I'll probably show you how to add a crafting recipe. Well, let me just get three blocks of dirt to show both of them. Oh, crap, I didn't go get wood, don't I? All right. Wait for it to load. <laughs> All 
All right, here we go. That's my T item and my T block. So if I place down my T block, awesome. Now this being see-through is a glitch. I will show you later how to fix it. I will probably add a little annotation in the code. And then here's my T item. And why did I set the hardness so high? And my T block. All right, now let me show you where to put the PNGs when you re skate. All right, so basically when you re skate or obfuscate or whatever, all your files, or your class files will appear over here. So say your class files, you have all your class files and you're gonna put in your jar. Where you're gonna place your PNGs is you're gonna go back to your bin folder and you're just gonna take this whole folder and put it in your Minecraft jar itself. All right, and if you are using non, non Eclipse, you're gonna go MCP folder, bin, and then Minecraft, and then you place your PNG user, the files or whatever in here. Well, yeah, I guess you guys like that tutorial. Sorry it's been a long time. Sorry I'm talking kind of fast for a low voice, but yeah. Next tutorial, just comment and I'll see what I can do. I have made a dimension before, so I will most likely be making a dimension tutorial in the future. But yeah, thanks guys, and catch you later.